the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Ben Seal. On today's daf is Maseches Gittin, Daf Yud Zion. Um, I want to talk today about a continuation I talked about yesterday. I said yesterday there was two opinions on Daf Ted Zion. If two people come and say, or they don't say, they bring a get, they say, do they have to say, or are they good enough? So one opinion says, you have to say it. The other opinion says, you don't have to say it. Now, the Rambam, the Torah Shulchan Paskin, you have to say it. What is that based on? The Gemara really doesn't give a definitive answer. The reason most people say you have to, you have to, um, you would not have to say it, is because the whole problem with Boston, like Rava, ain't in the Mitzvah and Lekaimah. You don't have anything to Mekayim the Shtar. Here you have two people who brought it, so they'll Mekayim the Shtar for you. Now, um, first of all, Rashi on that base on the base, he brings the Gemara is talking about the differences between Rava and Rava. And the Gemara says one of the nafkin between Rava and Rava is Dasua Betray, if two people brought the get, right? According to Rashi, explains over there that according to Rava, Right, it's not going to help because you need the people to testify. According to Rava, um, it would help even if they don't say anything. Even though they say we're finding nothing, finding nothing, because they have Adam and Tzul Mekayim. We have Adam that are there available to Mekayim and the Star. Tozos there on that base when they ask, he says on Rashi, what we keep the Adam around. They can go to their houses. They can travel back to the Yeah, They're not going to be around. Why do we assume they're going to be around? They're here right now. It doesn't help. So this is all an interesting shot over in the Gemara Dasua Bay Trey is that they didn't say What they did say though is something else. They said that the person who the husband told us to bring this get. He told us to bring this. They they're not saying that was sure would work, for sure would work. They're saying the husband sent us, but they don't say he wrote it in front of us. He said he could have wrote it in front of other people. But he says the husband sent sent us to bring this get to Eretz Israel from Nidasya. That's good, according to Tosos. According to Rava, Rava says it's good. Now, that's the explanation according to Rashi and Tosos, which, right? So seemingly from Rashi, it seems they don't have to say "fani nechta, fani nechta." According to Rava, Tosos says they have to say something else. I said yesterday they have to say "fani nechta, fani nechta," because "kiyum haget" is very different than "kiyum shtaros." "Kiyum haget" is "midal raisa." You have to "makayim the get," "midal raisa." Otherwise, it's not a good get. You have to "makayim the get." Um, you have to verify the signatures in the get. If you say "fanayatam fanayatam," that's verifying the signatures. Tosis is adding something else that, even by not verifying the ksiva and the chasima, but at least saying that the husband sent us, that's good enough of a kiyum. Now, by by other shtaros who didn't that's not good enough. You have to verify the actual signatures. But I explain this is very different. Gitin and kedushin is basically isr behet there. The different and Rav Chaim Risker says it's not a day chasima. The, the, the signatures are not a day raya. They're not proof like Dine Mominus. They're a day kiyum. They're actually give kiyum. They give life to the star. That's what they give. It's a totally different thing. Even though it's learned from Zera Shava Davar Davar Mimamon, it's a different. Don't you know? Ba'ugi ba'asra. Right. It's a different. The Zera Shava is not a folk Zera Shava that you learn completely. The laws are not exactly the same. And therefore, by Gitin, uh, the Adam is a different type of Adas. It's a day kiyum. You don't need two people necessarily. The Gemara Kedushin discusses a Kedushin when you have one a Kedushin. The Gemara leaves it off. In Velav or Afya Biyad, the Gemara says, not sure. I'm telling you, I believe it's good that one aid who's Makayim the Kedushin should be good. The Gemara doesn't answer that question. It's asked Kedushin. Uh, the Gemara leaves it as a suffix. Um, but <clears throat> I'm saying it's good because one aid is good enough because the head there is very different. Now, the problem with the Gemara, support to what I'm saying, is the Gemara, really we started Ted Zion based on the bottom. There was an incident where some of the rabbis went to ask a different Rav, Rav Rachana Chalash, he was sick, on the bottom of Ted Zion at base. And they went to ask him this very question, Rav Yehuda and Rabbi asked him, what's the halacha? Two people bring a gem, yes, yeah, they have to say, Vani Nechta, Vani Nechta. And he answered them, not that the reason they don't have to say, Vani Nechta, Vani Nechta, is because, is because, Edem Etsuyim Lekaimo. Which is the reason we're offered on Ted Zion and Aleph on the top. Ted Zion and on the top. It's a different reason, which is the Gemara and Daf Hayam and Aleph, where the Gemara says, Ain't Sericha, you don't have to say it. Ma'ilu Yomru Vaneno Girsha, Milo Mehem. If they would have testified to Adam and said, We saw the actual Girsha in Medina Sayyam, and they come to Eretz Israel, we believe them. They saw the actual Girsha in the Nasina, right? That's the most important part. The Nasira, the Pasuk Gorlezer, Adam Asira Karsi, 
right, giving over the gather, they would have seen that, for sure we'll believe. So what is he saying? So essentially the same thing, right? Tosus basically says on, on that base on base, what the Gemara means over here is that just like if Adam would see the Gerish in their belief, so too, if Adam come and testify that the husband sent him to bring this get to Eretz Israel, we trust that it's a valid get. We trust that he wouldn't lie about this. It would be a valid get. So even though I said yesterday, you need a key, and they have to say two A, I, I believe the psa, correct psak is two people who come, Dina Siyam, they have to say, funny enough, funny enough, and why? Because you need to make him, and get me the Raisa, get them in Kedusha, you need me the Raisa, Kiyam. Not just me the Rabbanan, like the Imam, you need me the Raisa, Kiyam. We don't say, like Reish Lakish says, the Edom HaKasum HaLashtar Kamoshin Nechra, you do some base. That's only by Dina Imamonist. Right, but didn't didn't get the Israel a hetter? Get them good to your say that. So you need key and midal rice. That one aid is enough, like our Gemara says. Proverbs say, "The pavayin nechta, pavayin nechta." What Tosa is answering, he Tosa is explaining over here, is that is that even if they don't say anything, there's another way of being mekayim a get, not just saying we saw the chasima, right? But by saying the husband told us to bring this get, that's good enough. Now, even though by dini mamanis that wouldn't be a good key, a good key by dini mamanis you have to verify the signatures. Because we're concerned people are lying about the Imam, people are very suspect with lying. By giving them good, we're not so much worried people are lying so much. We're just worried people are more make up because it's not, it doesn't matter so much. You, people, not everyone, and from people make sure their Ada Kedushin are very from people. But people don't care so much about Ada Kedushin. It's just uh, a, cere- a cere- ceremonial thing. That's the whole point. It's a ceremonial thing. So therefore, in order to be, the word kiyum by a get does not mean to verify the signatures. Kiyum by a get is to give life, makayim, or to give life to the get. And therefore, you don't specifically have to say You have to say something. But even if you say something less, you say the husband told us to bring this get to Medina Siam, that is ceremoniously okay. That's something which gives life to the get. Even though it's named the but it gives life. It's a different type, it's a totally different point of the Adam over here. And further proof to what I'm saying is the Gemara on Yud Zayim and Aleph goes through this Machlokas again. It has two different uh, discussions over here. One, according to the first discussion, it comes out that they have to say Fani Nath or Fani Nath. Them two Adim will come. And the second discussion was the, the conclusion was they don't have to say Fani Nath or Fani Nath. And they asked them, they said, they asked the person who said this, right? You didn't say it this way. After they said the second, the second discussion, you didn't say it like the second one. You said it like the first way. So you answer the back. I'm like, yes, he shall Talmud. It's a peg that shouldn't be loosened. Now, our scroll translates based on the psach that we paskin, the Rambam, and Torah Shachanar paskin, that you do not have to say funny nachta, funny nachta. So they say, yes, he shall Talmud. The second discussion is the correct one. They do not have to say funny nachta, funny nachta. But the word, yes, he shall Talmud, means a peg should not be loosened, right? If he was saying the second version that you just told me now is the correct version, that would be something. The correct, the correct, uh, the correct comment should have been, uh, "What I said now is the truth," or something like that, or "Yes, said that I put down right now is the truth." Because you put it down right now, they just told it right fresh right now. Yes, it is shalotam. It means there's a peg in place from before, and it shouldn't be loosened. Meaning the correct explanation is the first explanation. That you do have to say funny nachta, funny nachta. I think that's very clear from the words. Yes, it is shalot talmud. I think it's very clear you have to say funny nachta, funny nachta. If two people, because you need a key. But tosos on that base is mechadish, and that's exactly what the gemara is saying on the bottom of the zayimid base. That just like if two people would see the gerushin, and they'd be believed. So too, if two people said the baal told us that this star, this get that he wrote in front of other people, nachta and nachta in front of other people. He told us to bring his Benis Yam and give it to this woman as a Gerish in Eretz Yisrael. That is sufficient in order to make in the Shtar also because Kiyom Shtar is by Gitten. Even though it's essential with the Raisa, you don't have to be as uh, cautious as by Kiyom Shtar's Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.